Braden, question for you. Ball handling skills. I mean, you're, you're all on the floor, dribbling the ball, breaking down the press. Um, has this been something you've been doing your entire life? It just seems like it's so natural for you. I just feel like coming in here, like that's kind of my job. Um, we need someone to handle the ball and get the ball in the right places. So I feel like that's my, my job all I got to do right. Uh, Brandon, what did your two freshmen show you in, in, in the first real game? First real one? Like, like he just answered, um, obviously his role as a point guard for our team is to uh, make sure everyone's you know, in their spots um, and, and, kind of, and kind of take the reins on the offensive end. Um, Fletcher Lawyer can shoot the basketball. He's a really good shooter and, and can get hot quick. For Fletcher, hey, did it just kind of take you a little while to kind of settle into the game there? The three started falling in the second half that weren't going in the first half. Yeah, uh, right away a few were just going in and out, and uh, teammates were staying in my ear telling me to keep shooting the ball. But uh, once you see a few miss like that, you, you're a little bit weary. But uh, you got to keep shooting. I know they trust me too, so I got to knock it down when they swing it to me. Fletcher, I assume one of seven in the first half doesn't bother you, since you're this is what you do. Your I mean, it bothers you a little bit, but you know you put in the work to do it, and all your teammates see you make them in practice, so they're trusting you to make them, and that helps so much. The fans are still cheering you on, your teammates still trust you, so really with that trust, it's going out there and not going to move. For Brandon, I think your first three, uh, I think the backside help was coming on Zach. He kind of saw you on the far side. Are you guys in a pretty good place with him now in terms of knowing that he's going to get the ball when you set up and people are doubling? Yeah, he's actually, he spent a lot of time on that um, in post-action. Um, you know, having chairs set up in practice and being able to hit guys in the corner and the wing and the top. But then it's also up to us um, as guards and other players to to do the same thing every time. That the the player who's who's throwing the ball in, he's got to cut through cut through the elbows, look for his layup, then get out to the corner. The guy in the corner has to raise up to the wing. The guy in the wing um, either has to dive or raise up to the top. Just uh, breaking the sequence, you got the steal, and then on the other end, the lob to Zach. Just, that's something you probably don't practice, but just how did that kind of get you into the flow of the game? Uh, I think it was very like, what's the word? I don't even remember. It was just like, kind of like crazy. Just seeing everybody yell, everybody's going crazy. I mean, you just kind of got to throw it up there and look at it. I mean, you saw it almost hit the ceiling and you still got it. So <laughs> just having that, and then defensively, I, I know like, I did I have steals, but also I was gambling and made mistakes as well. But Coach Payne just says, Braden, like, stay solid and do your thing, and then your instincts will, will follow. For Braden, I just actually came up with a different question. Why are you always bleeding? <laughs> Can't tell you. I don't know why. Found me, I guess. That's what kind of, kind of happens when you play for it, huh? I guess so. Hey, just. Um, I know Matt put a lot of time into working on the press this preseason. How sort of prepared are you guys? And did you kind of come into this year thinking, hey, I'm a freshman point guard in the Big Ten, people are going to try to light me up and things like that? I feel like I said earlier, just kind of being like, that's kind of like my job. So, like, I got to get people in the right places, got to give them the ball, and got to handle the ball. So, I mean, I had three turnovers tonight, so that's kind of frustrating for me because I wanted to keep it to one, one or zero. But um, just being able, that's like my job, so just knowing the right place and get the people the ball. Brandon, how valuable was the early part of the game when you guys were not hitting shots, but you were doing some other things to, to stretch that lead? How valuable is it? can that experience be as you, as you move through the non-conference season? Very, uh, very valuable. Um, obviously, you know, shots aren't going to fall every night, um, but a couple of things we can still do. We can still rebound. We can still defend. Um, and that's kind of what we were able to do. We were kind of able to get some steals um, and create some create some offense and transition for us um, and get some easy buckets. Hey, Fletcher, a question for you. You and Brayden are obviously freshmen, meaningful minutes. I mean, what's it like sitting up here in your first game and you're taking questions from us, but you're the highlight and, you know, story of the game? Yeah, it's pretty wild. It almost feels like a video game out there. It doesn't really feel like real life. But uh, it's pretty special when you got teammates and coaches that really trust you. It helps the time going out there and playing your best. I was going to ask the same question to Braden as well. I was going to ask both of you, but Braden, same kind of question. A historic night for you. Most steals by a freshman in school history. It's your debut. Like that's mm -hmm. insane. How does it feel to be up there and just kind of, you know, taking that stat and taking all this information in and knowing like, hey, I get to do this and do it at Purdue. I think just coming in like 
like I said, like I made my mistakes, but also like I've done stuff like this. Like it, it just it balances out. So you know, I mean, whatever happens, happens, and then coach puts us in the right position to be successful. And he did that tonight and got the win. Glad Mike and then DJ. Uh, great. I mean, you were on the floor diving for loose balls. Trey Kaufman was on the floor diving for loose balls. I mean, is that is that a contagious part, and that should should that be a staple of this team? Hundred percent. It's what we do every day in practice. You should see our practice. Like everybody's diving on the floor. Z's diving on the floor. He's seven four diving on the floor. So, like, I mean, if that tells you anything, it's it's just really cool to have everybody on the same uh, page and being able to do that. You do last one. Yeah, for Brandon. Um, going back to Braden, obviously coming away with seven steals tonight. Just what does that do for your team in terms of? raising the energy, especially there when uh, the offense wasn't always clicking. Um, just what can that do for you guys in terms of revitalizing the team and getting you guys on the right track when he's able to make the plays he is yeah, on the defensive kind of, end of the court? I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, on the defensive end of the court, yeah. Um, no, just to kind of piggyback off of the question I was asked earlier, um, it's good to, to get in transition um, and, and, and to get some steals and to get some, some layups, you know, see the ball go through the rim, uh, get a couple stops in a row. Um, you know, it's contagious. You know, one guy gets a steal, another guy gets a steal. You know, and then all five of us are in the gap. We're talking. You know, we're, we're fighting through screens. Um, you know, helping one each other, helping one helping one another out. Um, so you know, when a couple, you know, when a guy or two gets gets a steal, you know, everybody else, you know, raises their level of play, raises their intensity. So just just an overall positive for us. Anything else? All right, thank you guys.